Um, thank you for making the, the journey over to WA and thank you for choosing WA as the place to uh, launch the campaign. We're, we're privileged to, to have you here. We campaign about policies, not about the party. It's about the policies that we think matter to the industry. We are very pleased to be able to be here to launch the campaign. Um, we're hoping it's going to be successful again. There is certainly a challenge with the ABCC. Uh, the Labor Party have been following the CFMEU line that it is a partisan organisation and it's only there to support builders, not workers. This is what is important to an industry that is incredibly important to the economy. And now more than ever, as we're going through COVID, the next government will be determining the rest of the economic recovery road out of COVID. And we know that for every dollar spent in our industry, $3 is returned back into the economy, the biggest multiplier of any industry in the country. We've got this. Uh, this is our front page. Uh, this is talking about the ABCC. Uh, and this is the sort of thing that we'll be doing throughout the campaign. We've kicked it off to a, a, a hell of a launch um, with, the, with the front page of The Australian and most of page five. But we found since the last election in 2019, when we opposed Labor's negative gearing policy, we found that our advocacy and our influence in Canberra with policy makers has only been increased. We've had more access to Labor policy makers, uh, particularly in the housing space, ever since then. The priority is, the number one priority among builder and trades and soft voters in 40 marginal seats, including four in WA, is for an economic recovery, a plan for an economic recovery. The biggest issue for our industry at the moment, of course, is cost of doing business, that we've described as the cost and cash flow crunch on the industry. And there's some things governments can do and there's some things that governments can't do in terms of that. But they should be working with us, not against us, in resolving some of those problems. It's tough times to actually survive uh, in this period and for the next six to 12 months. There's over 400,000 small businesses in our industry, more than any other sector of the economy, who don't draw a wage. They, the money they can take out of their business depends on how that business is going. So what we'd like to see is we'd like to see a political party with a plan. We'd like to see a plan that supports small business and a plan that supports the building and construction industry right across the country.